While Google celebrates their Willow breakthrough, IBM is quietly executing the most ambitious quantum computing roadmap ever attempted. By 2029, they plan to deliver something no company has achieved, the world's first fault-tolerant quantum computer. This isn't just another incremental improvement. It's a complete transformation of computing that could make today's quantum computers look like pocket calculators. IBM's Quantum Starling represents a $10 billion bet on a fundamentally different approach to quantum computing. While competitors focus on qubit count and speed demonstrations, IBM is building the infrastructure for quantum computers that can run for hours without errors, the holy grail of quantum computing that will unlock applications impossible with today's systems. Fault-tolerant quantum computing represents the difference between quantum computers as research curiosities and quantum computers as world-changing technologies. Current quantum computers, including Google's Willow, can only run calculations for microseconds before quantum decoherence destroys their delicate quantum states. IBM's Starling system will run quantum calculations for hours, days, or even weeks without losing quantum information. The technical challenge is staggering. Quantum computers are incredibly fragile. A single photon of light or vibration can destroy a quantum calculation. IBM's approach uses quantum error correction, where hundreds of physical qubits work together to create a single logical qubit that can maintain quantum information indefinitely. This requires unprecedented precision in quantum control and measurement. IBM's roadmap shows exactly how they'll achieve this seemingly impossible goal. The Starling system will feature 200 logical qubits capable of running 100 million quantum gates, a scale that dwarfs anything possible with current quantum computers. These logical qubits will be constructed from thousands of physical qubits using surface code error correction, the most promising approach for large-scale quantum computing. The implications are revolutionary. While today's quantum computers can only solve artificial problems designed to showcase quantum advantage, fault-tolerant quantum computers will solve real-world problems that classical computers cannot touch. Drug discovery, materials science, financial optimization, and artificial intelligence will all be transformed by quantum computers that can run complex algorithms without errors. IBM's approach to quantum computing differs fundamentally from competitors like Google, IonQ, and Rigetti. While others chase headline-grabbing demonstrations of quantum supremacy, IBM focuses on building quantum systems that enterprises can actually use to solve business problems. This enterprise-first strategy is already paying dividends with partnerships across finance, pharmaceuticals, and technology. HSBC's breakthrough with IBM Quantum Computers delivered a 34% improvement in predicting bond trading outcomes, the first demonstration of a quantum advantage in a real financial application. This wasn't a laboratory experiment or artificial benchmark. It was a production-scale trading algorithm running on actual market data, generating measurable business value. IBM's quantum network strategy creates a sustainable competitive advantage that hardware-focused competitors cannot match. Through IBM Quantum Network, over 200 organizations worldwide access IBM Quantum Computers through the cloud creating an ecosystem of quantum developers, researchers, and applications that reinforces IBM's market position. This network effect becomes crucial as quantum computing transitions from research to commercial applications. Companies that have already integrated IBM quantum systems into their workflows will have significant advantages when fault-tolerant quantum computers become available. IBM is essentially building the quantum equivalent of Amazon Web Services, a platform that becomes more valuable as more users join.
IBM's path to fault-tolerant quantum computing follows a carefully orchestrated roadmap with specific milestones and deliverables. The journey begins with the Nighthawk processor in 2025, featuring 120 qubits with high connectivity capability of running 5,000 quantum gates. This represents a significant improvement in quantum circuit depth and complexity over current systems. By 2027, IBM will scale Nighthawk to modular systems with up to nine 120 qubit modules, creating quantum computers with over 1,000 qubits. This modular approach allows IBM to scale quantum systems incrementally while maintaining the high connectivity and low error rates necessary for fault-tolerant operation. The technical challenges IBM must overcome are unprecedented in the history of computing. Quantum error correction requires measuring quantum states without destroying them, correcting errors faster than they occur, and maintaining quantum coherence across thousands of qubits simultaneously. Each of these challenges pushes the boundaries of physics and engineering. IBM's solution involves revolutionary advances in quantum control electronics, cryogenic engineering, and quantum software. The Starlink system will operate at temperatures colder than outer space while maintaining precise control over thousands of quantum bits. The engineering complexity rivals the most ambitious projects in human history, from the Manhattan Project to the Apollo program. The economic implications of fault-tolerant quantum computing extend far beyond IBM's business prospects. McKinsey estimates that quantum computing could create $850 billion in annual value by 2040, with fault-tolerant systems capturing the majority of this market. IBM's early lead in fault-tolerant quantum computing positions them to dominate this emerging industry. The strategic implications for national competitiveness are equally significant. Countries with access to fault-tolerant quantum computers will have decisive advantages in cryptography, artificial intelligence, materials science, and drug discovery. IBM's partnership with the U.S. government and allied nations creates a quantum alliance that could reshape global technology leadership. IBM's quantum strategy also includes quantum-safe cryptography initiatives that become critical as quantum computers approach the capability to break current encryption methods. The company's post-quantum cryptography standards are already being adopted by governments and corporations, preparing for the quantum threat to cybersecurity. The partnership with AMD to develop quantum-centric supercomputing represents IBM's vision for the future of computing hybrid systems that seamlessly integrate quantum and classical processing. These systems will tackle problems that neither quantum nor classical computers could solve alone, creating entirely new categories of computational capability. IBM faces significant challenges in executing their fault-tolerant quantum roadmap. Google's Willow Breakthrough demonstrates that competitors are making rapid progress in quantum error correction. Chinese quantum research programs have substantial government backing and are pursuing similar fault-tolerant approaches. The race to fault-tolerant quantum computing is intensifying rapidly. Technical risks remain substantial. Quantum error correction has never been demonstrated at the scale IBM proposes. The engineering challenges of maintaining quantum coherence across thousands of qubits while performing millions of operations could prove insurmountable. Even small delays in the roadmap could allow competitors to achieve fault-tolerant quantum computing first. IBM's plan to build fault-tolerant quantum computers by 2029 represents the most ambitious technology roadmap in the quantum computing industry. Success would establish IBM as the leader in the most transformative computing technology since the invention of the transistor. Failure would cede quantum leadership to competitors and potentially cost IBM its position in the future of computing. 
The next four years will determine whether IBM's methodical, enterprise-focused approach to quantum computing can deliver on its promises. The stakes couldn't be higher. The company that achieves fault-tolerant quantum computing first will shape the future of technology, science, and human knowledge for decades to come. What do you think about IBM's chances of achieving fault-tolerant quantum computing by 2029? Will their enterprise-focused strategy give them an advantage over Google's research-driven approach? How will fault-tolerant quantum computers change your industry? This is Click Future, where your future is a click away. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe for more coverage of the quantum computing revolution.